Hello everyone, how to speed up your manifestations for more immediate results. So the art of the law of attraction and changing your reality through your mind is definitely an art. You have to be in a certain state of being in order to draw your manifestations to you in a very instant kind of way. But I'm going to try and explain it to you theoretically so that you can at least have um, a mental understanding of it because the more information you learn about this, the stronger your belief is going to get in you know, the power of yourself, the power of your mind, the power of altering your emotional state. The quickest way to bring your manifestation to you, it might be a very complicated manifestation. So if you're trying to manifest a million dollars and you, you, know, you grew up in a state of financial lack, and you're, you're dealing with a lot of abundance blocks and beliefs about money that might be blocking your manifestation, it's going to be complicated for the universe to orchestrate you having a million dollars. But the quickest way is to get yourself in the emotional state of already having what you want. So if you want love, if you are trying to manifest a soulmate, maybe you want abundance, a career, whatever it is, if you can get yourself into the state of being where you already have what you're desiring, you no longer feel the lack of it, that is precisely when it will manifest. And this is so much easier said than done. It's so much easier said than done because in a way you have to let it go. And I think a lot of people get the term let it go confused. They think that you just have to visualize and not think about it anymore and then go back to your old subconscious thought patterns that really are just going to block your manifestation. That's not what letting it go means. Letting it go means that you let go of the feeling of the lack of not having it and you let go of the feeling of it not being there. So I hope that makes sense to you. So you might be thinking, okay, how am I supposed to get myself into a state of mind where I already have it when it's not here? in front of me physically. How does that even make sense? Yeah, I totally get it. I totally understand if that's what you're thinking. The most powerful emotion that you can evoke is gratitude because when you are in a state of pure gratitude, you are signaling emotionally to your body that what you want, you already have. You are signaling to your body that the event has already occurred. So, all you really have to get good at is evoking a very, very powerful state of gratitude, maybe of empowerment, maybe of passion, excitement, whatever emotion would resonate with you the most, but gratitude is the most powerful for signaling that the event has already happened. If you can evoke that state of feeling grateful and then at the same time visualize your future, so let's say you're trying to manifest a house. You actually feel gratitude throughout your entire body. Make sure that your heart feels it. You will feel your heart swell. You will feel it activated. You will feel it. You will feel truly thankful to the universe, to yourself, to life. Uh, and when you are in that pure state, then you can visualize the house, for instance, very clearly. And that's going to send a very, very powerful signal out into the universe. And you're going to be drawing that reality to you much faster. And really, you are in that reality. Okay, you have collapsed time. And you are literally in that reality. You're there already. You've jumped dimensions. <laughs> and all you need to do is learn how to maintain that state of being throughout your entire day. And this is the challenge, okay? This is what trips people up, is yes, you might be able to evoke the gratitude, okay? You can become really good at that, but then when you're done your meditation and you get up, or when you're done your exercise, whatever exercise it is to make you feel that way, you get up, you go back to your day-to-day -day activities, and you get back into that unconscious state of mind that says, I don't have it, that feels lack, that does not feel complete, that feels limited, those old thought patterns are going to come up and they're going to change your state of being. And that is the problem is that you need to learn how to maintain the state of being. And it's so 
difficult. It's really difficult. But let me tell you, the moment that you are no longer looking for your manifestation anymore, you're no longer thinking of the lack and the fact that you don't have it, and the moment that you feel like you already have it, that's the moment it shows up. Literally, that is the moment you are in alignment and it will show up and weird things will happen in your life to make you come into alignment with that future. It's just law. It's just you have to maintain it. That is the thing. So the methods that I kind of discovered, you need to feel this state of having it already and of gratitude and the high emotions for a minimum of 10 minutes a day, but honestly, I would try longer. I would try going for like an hour a day, but a minimum of 10 minutes a day of you purely feeling like you already have what you're trying to manifest, and you're gonna be broadcasting that strong signal, and gradually it will change your state of being. Do it every single day. Remember, if this is a really, really complicated manifestation, you, you have to give the universe time and you have to give yourself time because it's not easy to change your state of being. It's probably one of the most challenging things that you'll ever try to do, honestly. But it can be done and there are so many stories I've heard where people have gone through some crazy mystical experience during these meditations where their entire body energetically changed their entire subconscious changed in a split second and all of a sudden their reality was completely different. But remember, your reality is whatever you perceive your reality to be. It's all about your perception. It's all about your emotional reaction. You are always in control of your emotional state of being, no matter what. What's good to someone is a disaster to someone else. Let's just say, for instance, a woman becomes pregnant. Well, for the woman that's not planning it, it's a disaster. <laughs> and for the woman that is, it's a miracle. Remember that people are in very different realities, but just know that you can always control the reality that you experience based on your emotional state of being. Doing this practice every day, em evoking the gratitude with the visual is so powerful, but I would also say your inner dialogue is just as powerful. Become conscious of your inner dialogue. Become conscious of the old subconscious patterns, thought patterns, disempowering beliefs that are going to be creeping up throughout your day. Learn to become aware of them because the more aware of them you become, the less power they're going to have. You're going to start to dissolve those old circuits in your brain that aren't serving you at all. You're going to dissolve them and you're going to start to rewire much more empowering beliefs that are in alignment with your new future. So I would say practice awareness. And again, meditation really helps with that because when you're meditating, there is no stimulus. So all you can do is become aware of your mind. And that's when you really do become aware of what your thoughts are, what your beliefs are. And then you actually start to carry that skill in your waking life when you're actually out and about and your eyes are open and you're you do have stimulus you just become better at monitoring the dialogue in your head and being able to consciously really change it that's such a powerful technique and such a powerful skill that you need to build if you want to learn how to manifest fast control the inner dialogue so work on being in that state of being where you already have what you want. Practice it every day. Broadcast that signal out every day. Slowly but surely change your inner dialogue from your old ways of thinking to the new powerful ways of thinking. All of these things are going to help you. Speed up your manifestations. Let me know anybody who was able to manifest something literally overnight. What state of mind were you in? What did you do? I would love to know and anybody else watching this video would love to know. Okay guys, I hope that this helps and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.